Yeah, so recently I got one of these new Ryzen CPUs and um, I don't know if it's really uh, its fault, but uh, Windows 7 uh, started to um, crash coming out of uh, sleep mode. So um, I installed this Windows 10 and nearly, and I nearly have the computer back together now. But um, anyway, I made a few changes to this uh, driver here. Uh, here's this uh, Windwinder driver. I was, uh, okay, so right now it's um, trying to uh, set its uh, digital mode and it always gets it hopefully in a second or two. And here I can go to um, drawer.cpl. And uh, now I've got the, uh, the uh, hat switch working and uh, the direction, the slider, uh, the ninth button, the rotation um, working. And what I uh, discovered was that I have to configure um, the VJoy device. Uh, I noticed that um, I was using the functions um, supplied by um, the VJoy people to communicate with it, but then I thought maybe I forgot to initialize it. And I thought initializing is just calling it and then it knows it has it, but it actually turns out that what you have to do is you have to go in here to, uh, to VJoy, where is it? VJoy, right? Configure, where is it? Configure VJoy. And then um, what you do is you set which ones um, are applicable. I've selected the ones I think are applicable. There's um, only one path here. I think zero means that you have none. Uh, it's a four direction path, not a continuous. And so if you set these options, you get the ninth button and the path hat going to um, VJoy configure.